Hey, we are here with Brian Elza. Um, you're the kind of man in charge here. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> what, uh, give, give us a look. What, what kind of position are you in? Um, uh, the the Truly Competition is called Athletic Championships, obviously. Um, I'm the brand manager for the company, so I oversee all the, uh, the ins and outs and what it takes to put on something like this. This is one of our 20 shows we do each year all around the country, from the West Coast to the Northeast. And uh, this is actually our very first event that our company ever held 14 years ago here in Chattanooga. And from there, it kind of grew into something a little bit larger than that. And, uh, now we, uh, we start in the uh, earliest, earliest event is early November, and we end the last weekend of April. So it's a, it's a long season, but we have a lot of fun doing it. Right. I know uh, we spoke to a couple of the coaches that were here, like uh -huh. have been here through the whole 14-year process. Right. And they just they said it's such a, a great thing to be a part of, to see, to see the growth right. in the event. Here. It's, it's unique in that you know, there's... Last count, six, seven hundred cheerleading competitions across the country, and um, we found a, a good spot here in Chattanooga. We're the only cheerleading event that's hosted here in the convention center. Um, it's the only national size event. There's a lot of people are even accustomed to going to Atlanta and Orlando and to uh, some of your larger cities. Indianapolis is more within market town, and people come. They really enjoy it. It's, uh, it's a safe town. There's um, a lot to do in the downtown for the kids, and it's a different experience. You know, a lot of these gyms will go to Atlanta. It's a great town as well, but we'll go there three times a year to compete and to get away from that atmosphere and come here. So uh, it's worked out pretty well for us. Right. What makes uh, what kind of makes your events a little bit different? You think? What what makes it special? I should say. We really try to cater to our uh, to our coaches and the kids and athletes here. Really try to uh, roll out the red carpet. And, um, we, kind of our going phrase is that this is the competition where friends come to compete. Obviously, there's a lot of competition and teams want to win, but um, our staff has, has always been great about just being. Our answer, we try to make a yes as much as possible. And there's obviously, there's times we can't have a yes as the answer, but um, we try to go out of our way. We do a lot for the coaches and for the competitors here at the event. Um, we're not a really good coaches' hospitality group, so the coaches can get away from all the madness when we're not coaching. And that's something we feed them lunch and just do some of the little things that uh, it's not rocket science, but it really pays off when people are making up the competition schedule and decide where they want to go. Right. I mean, a number of the coaches we spoke to today have raved about you know, your competitions and right. what you guys do for them. So. It's been a work in progress. Uh, a lot of our, uh, we have some new staff, we also have another staff that been with the company for us since day one. And they kind of know what got us, got us here and how we can continue. We try to improve upon it every year. Um, we've added a couple of new things in this year that, um, that, that have traditionally not been done. Um, rather than having to wait around all day to see what your uh, score sheets are going to look like, your deduction sheets, which is what the coaches want to see, they're available right after the coaches go. So they can go check them out, make sure the scores look right to them, and they have an opportunity to challenge the person. So we want to make sure that when the, when the final results are, results are posted, they are final and that everybody's had a chance to save their spill and make sure that we have the scores right. That's great. That's great. How, so how's it going today? Yeah, it's going really well. Um, it's day one. You know, day one is a lesser percentage. It's 25% of overall score. Tomorrow will be 75%. Um, typically speaking, um, day two gets a little bit more stressful because when people are going for those championships, we have a number of different bids we're giving out to end of the year events. And um, a lot of people are here to try to win those. We have a couple of free pay trips to Disney World for kids um, to compete at either the Summit or partial pay bids to compete at the, the Dance Worlds this year. So uh, we've got a good mix. The event has about 60 dance teams and 100 160 cheer teams this week, so it's a good mixture of both. That's great. Well, Brian, we appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thank you.